Hey, welcome to the Port of Indecision, and today we're going to be doing a low country boil. So we went out and bought this outdoor gourmet, and they call it the seafood kit with jet burner. And this thing, the uh, important thing about that is these jet burners will heat the water up and get it to a boil real fast. And then as you enter uh, and put more food in and it takes the water temperature down, it'll go ahead and get it back to a boil real quick, which when you have a lot of hungry people, you're going to have to do it fast. But first, as all good cookouts, a nice sip of beer from the Left Nut Brewery. This is the bridge to nowhere. That's a good beer. This is what the setup looks like. And again, this is the 80 quart outdoor gourmet. We've already got it filled with water, our strainer's in there, and we've tested the flame. So we're going to go ahead and uh, light it up and see how long it takes for us to, to get a boil. And then we'll be able to time our low country boil a lot better. And now that we've got a rundown of the equipment we're going to use for today's low country boil, let's talk about the ingredients. First thing we're going to use is two six ounce cans of Old Bay seasoning, six lemons quartered, four pounds of red potato medium size, three sweet onions or Vidalia onions peeled and quartered, one pound of whole mushrooms, three cloves of garlic minced, and then two Hillshire Farm Polska Kabasa smoked sausage ropes cut into one inch pieces. And we're going to use two of the Hillshire Farm Cajun style andouille sausages also cut into pieces. Then eight ears of corn cut into halves, four pounds of medium shrimp, and then we're going to top it off with five pounds of crab legs. So to start our low country boil, I'm going to leave that pot off just a little. Then I'm using today Old Bay seasoning. A lot of you have used this. Uh, you'll have a lot of people tell you different things, but Old Bay seasoning really works well for us. And I'm really just going to... This is an 80 quart, so I'm going to dump two of these Old Bay seasonings. gets boiling around 
it's time once it's all done to put in the shrimp here we have about four pounds and a key thing here is this shrimp has not been cooked it also has not been peeled so you're gonna to have to peel it what we're also doing with our low country boil today is we're gonna be putting crab legs on top of our 80 quart container but if you look right here I also have two steamers going where we're gonna boil or steam some other crab legs to put uh, on the dinner table tonight seven or eight minutes left on that but I want to show you so the other thing we're talked about doing is we have these great Canadian snow crab legs that we're going to be steaming now I've left these out of the freezer for about 24 hours so they're just ready to be steamed and uh, what we've done is we have two pots going and these pots are just coming to a boil and you can see the steam just going to grab one and dive into it. So we're going to take the top off. And as I said, we're pulling it back about halfway, making sure this doesn't splash up at us. We're just going to stir this around, make sure that everything's mixed in pretty good. So what we're gonna start doing is laying in our crab legs steam here. We've got two pots. We're gonna take off, put a four pounder over here. Pull them all off, and this is going to should be tied into when we pull 
our other crab legs off that we've been steaming. 